Welcome everyone, this is Zanta with Repo Products. Today's video is on what's new in Revit 2026, specifically the Topo Solid enhancements. Here I am in Revit 2026. I have a generic Topo Solid that I've created, and we're going to take a look at some of these new enhancements. The first thing is that when you go to work with a subdivision and you select your Topo Solid, you can click Subdivide right here to create your topo solid. So let's create one, say, uh, create your subdivision, say, here like this. And this particular one, we'll set it as concrete 8 inch and hit the green check mark to make it. This is the default behavior of what happens when you build something like this. What's new in 2026 is that you can take that uh, subdivision and you can actually give it a negative value. So let's say I give it a negative value of uh, minus 4 feet. It'll drop it down, it'll cut into the topo solid, and it makes it for a much cleaner look. So this is very similar to when we had the building pad function a long time ago. So they've kind of made it easier for us to work this way. The second enhancement to subdivisions is that you can now draw them and have them cross each other, like I have here. And the way it works is you just go initiate the process of creating another subdivision by selecting subdivide and just sketch how you normally do. So for example, let's say I need to sketch a path across here like this and I'll do another one here like this and then I'll finish the sketch by drawing in a closed loop by drawing the lines that I'm missing and then for the type we have different types that are available. You can actually create your own type. So let's say I duplicate this one and we call it um, Bridge Path Wood. And we'll hit OK. We'll go into our structure. And I'll go ahead and change this to some type of wood. So let's do. I don't know. Red oak is fine. No, let's try something. Espresso. Let's try that one. And you'll notice that when I'm sketching, I'm sketching across other subdivisions. And if I hit the green check mark, it'll build it. And this is what you get. Another enhancement that they give you in the Topo Solid functionality is the ability for you to hide them when necessary. So if you select any of the subdivides, you can right click and hide in view by element like this, or you can select and hide in view by category. You can also open up the visibility graphics dialog box, scroll down to topo solids, and you'll see subdivisions whether they're on or off in the check mark here. Being able to hide the subdivisions will give you some interesting looking topo solid designs. So maybe if during your site planning and design work you want to see what that space looks like excavated out, this helps you with visually seeing it better. Maybe it's a pool, maybe it's the concrete sidewalk that's about to be poured so they're gonna you know prep the dirt and you'll see what it looks like before they pour the concrete. Maybe you need to model it this way so that you can install or have the GC put in special wiring or some kind of piping or anything that's underground underneath. So this is kind of a neat way for you to start working with the Topo Solid enhancements to help you with that design aspect. Another enhancement that they give you to the subdivisions and the topo solids is that um, you can not only use the tools the way you saw earlier but you can actually schedule out the data too so here I created a schedule for subdivisions and you'll see you can specify whatever data you need such as the mark the family and type the subdivide offset the area that's automatically calculated, the volume that's automatically calculated, and even the excavation volume on the topo solid is available as well too.
So some of these are, are some of the neat new features in the Topo Solid enhancements. Now, real quick, a bonus, just so that you'll kind of lead you into another video that I'm creating. When we went to create this Topo Solid, and we duplicated it, and we went into Edit Under Structure, if you were very careful, you would notice that there is no layer between core boundary. That is, in 2026 now, you have the ability to not have any layers between the core boundary gray horizontal lines. Whereas in 25 and older, you had to have at least one layer to act as the core boundary. This is not the case anymore, and it helps you with just creating a better system family for what you need. We'll talk more about this when we get into another video that I create in regards to the wall enhancements too. For now, these are some of the enhancements to the Topo Solid function. I would recommend that you play with it quite a bit. Um, other things you might want to mess with is that when you are uh, working with the Topo Solid and you select it, you can even work with Simplify, Topo Solid, and Excavate as well. Okay, so things for you to experiment and play with and learn on your own. Thank you very much for watching.